G'day, it's Megaleach here, and welcome to my tutorial on Crazy Talk, as promised. This is the main interface here, as you can see, useful out of the box. You can make her say whatever you like and use text to speech or actually record your own audio. But what we're going to do today is I've been given an image uh, as a suggestion from one of my subscribers, and I'm going to give that one a go today. It's BJ Blasterwitz from Castle Wolfenstein. Find your picture and you import it into the program as such. Um, this is probably the first most important stage. You've got to put the eye tags and the corners of the mouth tags in the right position. Now, you can be sort of random at first, just get them in the general area, but you're going to want to zoom in and actually position them fairly accurately because the more accurate you do it the easier it is later to line them up properly when you're doing the proper articulate controls and all right so we'll actually zoom in a bit more once I've got these controls up and we'll try and get it to fit his head a bit better so as you can see, we've got all these different controls here, and you can change the shape of the mouth, and if the mouth is slightly open, you can change your toggle here. When you get the chin, you want to go just on the outside of the chin line, just slightly, because it makes everything look just that little bit more realistic, because of how the shadows lie when it animates. Okay, so just on the outside of the jawline, and you don't want to go too high, even if it's got a big metal helmet like this guy does. Because then it starts doing weird stuff with the mouth and whatnot. Okay, now to get the eyes, you're going to want to zoom right in on one eye. And if you're going to replace the eyes, which we're going to do today, you want to put it right on the eye line, right on the, the line of where you can see the eye finishes. And there is a bit of tweaking involved. Get the other eye into the right position there. These bits you just hang off the edge. That one's pretty good. Now, you can always change these. It's not a one chance and if you don't get it right you're stuffed from then on you can actually come back to re-edit this later we'll go back into there All right, so click up there now we've got better control over the face so now what we're going to do is actually go into the advanced facial settings now in here we can actually replace the eyes with whatever color eyes we like. We can even change the hue so that we get like red where there was green, anything like that. Okay, now, very important here is to get them so they don't look cross-eyed. So you can actually switch back and forward and change the eyes position individually to make it look not so cross-eyed, make him look right at yourself. Okay, so that's the eyes. We've got blue eyes there. The whites of the eyes are probably a bit bright, so I'm going to reduce the brightness just a little bit and take the contrast down a little bit too. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with those eyes. Doing this fairly, uh, fairly quickly just to give you an idea. Now, we'll go back into Advanced Facial Features and we will select the teeth now so you can go from anywhere from brilliant white sort of teeth to horrible nuggety gold colored ones and you just want to fine tune these a little bit so that the teeth line up with the center of the face and you can get out of that just to see how they look hello Welcome. Right. You have successfully... He looks a bit buck tooth there, so I reckon I need to pull it up a bit. Right. And we might want to make them just a little bit shorter. 
because they look like horse teeth at the moment. Right here. Yeah. And the lips, yes, we do want to force them to close. There you go. So now he doesn't have that half opened mouth. We started out with. Now it does have a male voice somewhere there, so if I load that up, we should get a little bit better idea. You simply won't believe your eyes when you install Crazy Talk 4.0. You'll see how simple Real Illusion has made it to turn your digital photos into live talking movies. Alright, so you can see that's actually looking pretty good already. Um, a little bit of movement in the background there. We can actually get rid of that back in the model setting. So you grab a little tool over to the left there. And you basically draw it in. Special attention to edges that can overlap when animated and things in the background that if they moved when the head moves it's going to look stupid almost done okay that'll do for now now let's see how it looks we'll just do a couple of seconds once it's finished processing that you simply won't believe your eyes when you install crazy there we go so the background didn't move all crazily that time right we're about ready to record some audio now, I use a laptop to record my audio, and yes, that is toilet paper attached to that. And I use the toilet paper to diffuse the P's and T's, so you don't get that tip pit tip sort of sound when you do it. So, for example, my name's BJ Blasterwitz, and I'm here to kill all you Nazi fuckers. Something like that. So then I save that audio. And we can import that into Crazy Talk. So we'll go to the script, which is where you do all your talky stuff. Have a look at the timeline here, and you can see all the facial expressions for the current script, which is the male introduction voice to Crazy Talk. Here we can actually import from a WAV file, which is what we're doing. And there it is. Open that up. See how he looks. My name's BJ Blasterwitz, and I'm here to kill all you Nazi fuckers. There you go. Now you can add expressions to that. You can use the inbuilt ones like anger. My name's BJ Blasterwitz, and I'm here to kill all you Nazi fuckers. There you go. Now, you can actually get in there and change a few. Now I think it's got too much of an introduction so I'll just take out a little bit of the introduction there. I'll take that out as well. Alright, and you can put blinks or whatever you like in there just using the features here. As you can see, you've got quite a selection. If you're happy, angry, sad, whatever you like. So I'll have a look at an angry one, shall we? Go for really angry. Probably not that angry. That'll do. Right. So you just line it up to where you want to line it up. I'm going to write at the start of his speech. Now he's got to say fuckers with a bad look on his face, doesn't he? Fuckers! There you go. I think we'll use a higher percentage of that expression. We might do that here as well. My name's BJ Blasterwitz, and I'm here to kill all you Nazi fuckers. <laughs> okay, that'll do. And then all you do is just export it to an appropriate size. And you'd be better off cropping this one. We don't want the words in this video. And that's pretty good. And we export as BJ. Um, now I do it as DivX when I export them, just because it's a nice small compressed format. You can use whatever you like. And that's it. That's done. I can now play that in Media Player. And hence, upload it. Which I might just do.